Hi, I'm Rob Johnstone, Editor-in-Chief of the Woodworkers Journal magazine. This is a little piece of butternut that I bought from a local sawmill not too far from me. And this is some really pretty walnut that I bought at the same place. Why are local sawmills an interesting thing to discuss? Well, you'll read all about it in the May-June issue of Woodworkers Journal. But let's take a look at this following video and see what else might be interesting about it. Last March, I got to visit a couple of local sawmills to explore the idea of purchasing lumber off the beaten path, if you will. Both mills are owner-operated using locally harvested lumber. I was lucky enough to show up when Ted Solberg, with the help of his son and grandson, were cutting up a big pile of lumber. Back in 1974, Ted, who is now in his mid-70s, decided to go into the lumber business, and so he built his own sawmill from scratch. He's modified it and improved it over the years, the protective safety glass cage being one example, and he has sliced up hundreds of thousands of board feet of lumber since he got started. The large red oak log being sawn here is an example of the locally sourced stock that he uses. It was part of a large woodlot that had been blown down by a tornado about 25 miles from his home. The hydraulic controls on his mill help him to spin the logs and get the pieces that he wants. There's a lot that goes into reading a log. Ted keeps the diameter of the log in his head and then keeps track of each cut, taking thick and thin slices. He does not want to end up with a piece of the log that is too thin to be of use to him. After they are cut, the boards are stacked with stickered air spaces between them, and then moved to his solar kiln, which he also built himself. Ted specializes in thick slabs of hardwood stock, red and white oak, walnut, ash, butternut, whatever he can get his hands on. On a good deal of the lumber, he leaves the wainy edges in place. The thick stock is great for making tables or fireplace mantles, and it is an example of the kind of lumber you can find by looking for a local sawmill near you. Also included in the mill is a cutoff saw, which trims away stock that is not useful as lumber. He sells the resulting pile of cutoffs for firewood. In addition, he has a self-feeding straight-line rip saw that cuts lumber to width and cleans up the wingy edges. All in all, I had a great day watching lumber being made and then got to purchase a couple of sweet boards for myself. So thanks for watching this video on local sawmills. This is Rob Johnstone for Woodworkers Journal. And don't forget to keep on making sawdust.